Hello everyone, and welcome. Today we will be ranking my favorite designs for Pokemon and the Pokemon themselves. I'm not going to go into skills or abilities. This is purely my opinion on the Pokemon first glance, first opinion, first appearance. I... I know you're going to be mad, and that's okay. That's We are allowed to have different opinions. You're going to hear my opinions and think of me differently. And that's what we're supposed to do as a society. I'm going to say S tier, perfect design, nothing bad about it. A tier, almost perfect. B tier, good. C tier, not bad, not good. D tier, bad. And then we're going to add an, an extra tier here. Uh, add row below, and this one will be F. Terrible. Because I think that drop-off is pretty, I think it's pretty drastic when you get there. This is the first gen of Pokemon, okay? So we might not have any terribles, if we're being completely honest. I'm not doing the Mega Evolutions in this. If you want me to do that, I might do that at the end of the video. But we're not doing that right now. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is almost perfect. I think that there's something missing about him. He seems like he's not baked the entire way. He seems like he was in the oven and he came out a little early. Ivysaur, perfect. What do I gotta say? Venusaur is almost perfect. Again, I think there's something missing a little bit. I like his red, green, and blue, like, uh, color scheme. But, you know, I mean, we can only get, Look, don't get mad at me. I didn't make him, okay? I didn't make him. Charmander. Mmm... He's, he's almost there. He's almost perfect. He's a little bland. See, Charmeleon, though, he's perfect. I think a lot of people think that the first gen started it, but I don't think it started in first gen, where the middle evolution becomes like the red-headed stepchild. I don't think that started until like maybe gen three, honestly, if we're being serious. I think Charmeleon and Ivysaur are insane. I think they cra they're they cracked. They went crazy with it. Um, Charizard? I think he's okay. I don't think he's almost... Is he almost perfect? I don't know. He might be down here. He might be good. No, he's almost... He's almost perfect. I don't know how you would make him better, but I don't think he's there, if that makes sense. Squirtle? Perfect. War Turtle? Perfect. Actually, Squirtle might be down here. Bulbasaur, I mean, not Bulbasaur. <laughs> what am I doing? Blastoise. Blastoise is S tier. I think he's a great Pokemon. I, I, I think he's amazing. I don't think I could change anything. And in a good way, I don't think there's anything wrong with him. Caterpie. Perfect. Metapod. Just kind of looks like a leaf. I'm not going to lie to you. Missing a little bit. But... He's, he's great. He's almost perfect. He's close. He's close. He's almost there. Butterfree. I'm gonna go perfect. Weedle? Weedle is good. Weedle is good. Kakuna, though? Kakuna is, I think, perfect. I think it looks very unique. I think that they have a nice design here. Yeah, Kakuna is perfect. Beedrill? Also perfect. Pidgey. Hmm. So here's the thing. I think the design is good. But I think it's boring. I think Weedle is good. But I think it's boring. I think, I think we're starting to catch something here. We're starting to figure out like a groove here. Pidgeotto. I think that it is almost perfect. Pidgeot? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the long hair. We're gonna go... It's not bad. It's not bad. I gotta be real. I gotta be real. I gotta be honest. It's not bad. Radata? It's good. It's better than Pidgeot. Radicate. It's... It's good. Is it better than Radata? No. Uh, I like shorts, they're comfy and easy to wear. Spiro, bad. I think it's a bad design. Uh, no, I think it's good. I think it's almost bad. Yeah. Oh, how'd these get flipped? Huh? Hold on. There you go. I'm glad we haven't used that yet. Spiro, I think that it is bad. Yeah, I think it's a bad design. <laughs> I think it looks very weird. I don't, I don't think it ever really fit into the original Pokemon. 
Ekans. Ekans is good. Ekans is good. Yeah, Ekans is good. It, it's very good. It's not almost perfect. Yeah, Arbok is perfect. Arbok is so cool. It looks cool. It's huge. It looks a very, very unique idea, uh, even though it's just a snake. It looks so standout amongst its crowd, if you get what I'm saying. Pikachu? Mmm. Pikachu is almost perfect. And the reason why it's almost perfect is because Raichu is perfect. I think they've completely... I mean, look at his little paws. You see his little mitts. These little mitts. They got different color on them. The little tips of them. It's just something about it. So, so darn cute. It's a little bit edgier, less round. Now, the original fat Pikachu. Like the big, the big boy Pikachu. Pikachu. That would have been S tier. But the new slim Pikachu. The, uh, the, uh... Ozempic Pikachu, it's not, it doesn't have that charm. Sandshrew, perfect. Success! And Slash, not perfect. Almost. It's good. It's above Pikachu. It's above Metapod. It's not above, uh, is it above Squirtle? It is. It's not above Charizard, though. I'll give you that much. Charmander, it's above. So I'll go like that, because Charizard isn't cool than Squirtle. Venusaur, yeah, this is the word. I gotta organize it somewhat. Nidoran? Mmm. It's not good, it's not bad. Uh, Nidorina, right? Nidorina is good, definitely. And it's it's up there in the good. It's almost in the almost perfect. Nido Queen, almost perfect. I don't know what it is, it looks a little too bland. Because when we compare it, well, we'll get there. I'll talk about it. Nidoran. Male is almost perfect. Nidorino? Nidorino is good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Nido King? Perfect. And now here's the thing, right? I'm not I'm not trying to dictate whether or not you like. Nido King or Nido Queen. I think they are both very cool. Nido King has something about the design that makes it seem full. I don't know what it is. Um, whereas this, whereas Nido Queen, it's a little bland. It's a little bland, but it's almost perfect. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it is a great Pokemon, um, design wise. Clefairy. We're gonna go with. Not bad, not good. Clefable. We're gonna go with not bad, not good. I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm not gonna lie to you. Volpix, good. That's a good one. Actually, we're gonna go... We're gonna go almost perfect. Almost. Nine Tails, on the other hand, is not... It might be... It might be bad. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. It's not interesting at all. It's literally just... Uh, we're, 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 but it's not ugly. You know? It's not like... It's not like... It doesn't make me feel bad using Ninetales. It just makes me feel like... Nah. So we're gonna go not good, not bad. Um, or not bad, not good. Good, good, not bad. Um, Jigglypuff is a good design. Wigglytuff is a good design. And there's nothing else like it. These, these are like the cousins that Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff don't hang out with. Zubat, it's a good design. It's a very Dragon Quest type Pokemon, especially Golbat. But something about it's got so much character. Oddish, it's good. It's got personality. Um, it's not as much personality as Weedle but it's got personality. Gloom. Gloom is almost perfect. Gloom is way more interesting than Oddish because of the personality associated with the character design alone. And then Vile Plume might be perfect. It might be perfect. If there's an in-between here of almost perfect and perfect, Vile Plume would sit there. But I don't think we need that. Um, I think I can just stick to my guns on this and say it's a it's a perfect design. Uh, Paris, it's good, it's good. Parasect, perfect. Like I don't know how they went from like 
Like, ah, uh, this one's interesting. It's not great. It's pretty good. We just made the, one of the most unique looking things art could ever imagine, you know? Like Picasso who, you know? Like that's the, when I look at Gloom, I'm like, how could Edvard Munch do that? Also, he is a munch. That's crazy. I never thought of it like that. Venonat? Almost perfect. Venomoth? Perfect. Beautiful. Mm, magnific. How'd you, how'd you do that? Oh, this is another one. A lot of people won't understand this, and that's fine. You don't have to. You don't have to understand what I'm saying. But Diglett. Perfect. Doug Trio? It's good. It's okay. You're fine. I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. I got the sauce cooking here, and you can taste it and agree with me, or you can disagree. Meowth is a good design. Again, reminds me of Dragon Quest. Coin on the head, very original. Persian. Persian... Persian is good. Persian is good, for sure. I, I can't argue for it to be almost perfect, but I can't argue for it to be, like, neutral. Because I do have positive feelings about Persian, in a way. Don't take that the wrong way. G uh, Psyduck. Perfect. Golduck? Arguably... Arguably cooler than Psyduck. Might be a hot take here. I think Psyduck is iconic, and I think Golduck is, like, slept on, for sure. Mankey. Mankey is almost perfect. Primeape is perfect, without a doubt. The little angry mark. Again, it's got- it's, it's evoking so much emotion. It's cool looking. It's, you know, it's, it's a unique design. It doesn't just look like an animal. Growlithe. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Arcanine? Is Arcanine perfect? Is Arcanine perfect? Or is he almost perfect? He's cooler than Charizard. He's cooler than Squirtle. He's cooler than Bulbasaur. Yep. I'm putting him up there. Because what, what would you really want changed about him? An accessory added? I just feel like, I feel like you're asking for too much there. Oliwag? Ooh. Yeah, we're, we're like in the Squirtle range with Poliwag. Poliwhirl. So cool. I think, I think we might be above Bulbasaur there. When you really think about it. And then Poliwrath. Perfect. No complaints. No critiques. Abra. Perfect. Kadabra. Arguably the coolest Pokemon ever made. Alakazam is perfect. Wouldn't change a thing. Machop. Let's see, the funny thing about Machop, he's almost perfect, because there's there's not much I would change about him, but he is so good. Like, he is so good that I can't argue for him to not be almost perfect, but something about him is just missing. Machoke. He's not, he's, he's okay. He's alright. You know, he's fine. But then you give him two more arms, he's perfect. They, they knew what it needed, you know? They knew, let's give him two more arms, it's gonna go crazy. Bellsprout, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell. Bellsprout is almost perfect. No, Bellsprout is perfect. Uh, Weeping Bell. It's good. It's good. Because it's not, it's like around here. It's like around here. Because if Metapod is almost perfect, it's better than Pidgeotto. Victory Bell. I think this is like classic. They knew what the they knew what the end goal was. They knew what the objective was, where it was going to go, and where it started. They didn't know how to get there, though. I feel like Tentacool. He's good, definitely. Tentacruel, perfect. Once again, they knew how to make it menacing. Geodude, perfect. Graveler. He's he's good. He is good. Golem is perfect. Ponyta is almost perfect. Rapidash is perfect. Slowpoke, perfect. Slowbro, perfect. I mean, honestly, they were spitting. Magnemite. He's good. He's good. Magneton. No, I think I gotta do it. I, I really do. I don't want to do it. No, no, he's because he's not bad. He's not he's he's better than not good. He's better than not bad, if that makes sense. 
Farfetch. He's not bad, not good. Doug Duo? He might be bad. He really might be. Doug Trio? He's good. He's actually, he's actually up there. He's, I would say he's, yeah, I would say he's almost perfect. Yeah. Seal? It's crazy. Didn't even bother to name him. He's almost perfect. Actually, he might, he might be perfect. Yeah, he might be perfect. Dugong? That's the weird thing. As soon as he goes to Dugong, he's just good. He's just good. Grimer? Almost perfect. Muck? Perfect. I mean, is it even a, is it even a question? Let's see here. Shelter, perfect. Loyster, perfect. Let's just get this out of the way. Ghastly, perfect. Haunter, perfect. Gengar, perfect. Onyx, perfect. The first two Pokemon you ever see fighting in the anime, right? Gengar and Onyx. Of course they're perfect. Drowsy, he's, he's, he's kind of weird. Uh, like, I, like, I like him. But he is kind of weird, right? Like, we gotta, we gotta be honest with ourselves. Hypno, he is weird. I know he's weird, but that design is crazy. Like, that design goes so hard. He looks like a therapist. He looks like a therapist. He looks like a mesmer. He looks like he's gonna steal your children and take them into the woods. But you can't deny it. When they hit the mark with a creepy, weird-looking guy, they hit the mark. Krabby, he's almost perfect. Kingler, perfect. Menacing, just a crab, literally just a crab, um, but perfect. Electrode and Voltorb. Voltorb is, he's almost perfect. And the reason why he's almost perfect is because Electrode is perfect. Look at that smug face and those little eyebrows. Like who thought of that? Like that's so funny that they were like, let's do a Pokeball. <laughs> And let's make him electric and he tricks people and then he's even got this little smug face i don't know this guy looks so intense we might do this we might flip we might flip him around voltorb looks so intense execute he's good he's good yeah executor he's he's almost perfect he's up there he's up there cubone perfect marowak perfect hitmonlee Insane. Goaded. Hitmonchan. Goaded. Coughing. Coughing. Perfect. Wheezing. Perfect. Rhydon. No, Rhyhorn. Mm. Rhyhorn. Almost perfect. Rhydon. Perfect. Lickitung. Licky licky. Lickitung is very cute. Very original. Um, he's perfect. Let's not pretend ourselves. Chansey? Here's the thing. I've never liked Chansey. Like, call me a hater, but like, Chansey's cute. But there's something off about, like, about a Chansey. It kind of looks like an oxalotl. Tangela? It's good. It's, it's not great, but it is good. Kangaskhan? Perfect. Horsey? Um, Horsey's good. Kingdra? It's good, too. I, uh, no, because it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Kingdra looks like it could be a Gen 2 Pokemon, which it's a, it's a little ahead of the time, if you, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, Goldeen? Goldeen is good. Uh, Sea King is also good. <laughs> pretty good. Star <laughs> I would say perfect. Like just the design, yeah. How it's portrayed, the colors. I think I think it's just something about it. The gym in the middle looking so bright and vibrant compared to the exterior colors doing the counter contrast. Mr. Mime, I'm going to oh, hot take. Mr. Mime is perfect because it is Mr. Mime. Design wise though, it is really weird. It's perfect. I, I'm not gonna fight it. I'm not gonna fight it. Scyther, perfect. That's another one that could be a Gen 2 Pokemon. Jinx. Unfortunately, Jinx is very interesting and and perfect. Electabuzz, perfect. Magmar, perfect. That's not even a question. Pinsir, perfect. Tauros. Tauros is... If there was an in-between. If there was an in-between, he would sit there. 
I'm gonna say he's almost perfect. No, it just doesn't look right though. It doesn't look right. Like, you know what I mean? It doesn't feel right for him to be there. Magikarp, perfect. Gyarados? You know, I've always had a gripe with Gyarados. I'm not trying to be like different or anything like that. I don't really care about that. I've always had a gripe with Gyarados because he's not, he is menacing, right? Like that's the whole thing. It flips a switch, but he's not as interesting as he as i feel like he could be and when they when they do the mega gyarados i hate that i don't like that at all yeah he's perfect for what he is it's the same with mr mime i can't fight it lapras s tier ditto high s tier i mean like literally might be the best pokemon uh, might be the sleeper honestly is the sleeper pokemon for s tier eevee <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna like me for this, but Eevee's just okay. Vaporeon? Jolteon? Up there. Way up there. Larion. Um, it's almost perfect. Yeah, it's almost perfect. I do think that Flareon gets a lot of flack. I don't know, y'all are making me feel bad just thinking about it. Uh, Flareon deserves to be perfect, but because of the lineup, of Pokemon that sit in perfect. It is not perfect to me. Uh, Porygon, perfect. Crazy design. Omni Star and Omnonite. Omnonite, right? Isn't this Omnonite? Yeah. Omnonite's almost perfect. Om Omnistar is. It might be good. Like, just good. Yeah, it's just good. It's just good. I'm going with my heart. I gotta listen to my heart. Kabuto, perfect. No, almost. No, it's perfect. Kabutops, perfect. Aerodactyl, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. We're, it's not good. Snorlax, S tier, top five for sure. Easily top five. Articuno, uh, good. It's, it's, it's good. Zapdos, it's perfect. Moltres, it's, it's it's almost bad i mean look how similar all these three are that's crazy it's almost bad it is it's the fact that it's a legendary and it's this low i think is uh very telling of of the design dratini it's good dratini's good i'm not gonna gas it up dragonair s tier for sure dragon knight is also perfect like, these two are so good for what they are. And this one, Dragonair, gets no praise, should I say. Mewtwo, it's perfect. Mew, perfect. Okay, so here's my list. I'm gonna organize it, go through it. Nothing's terrible. Actually, yeah, we're going terrible with, with Firo. Yeah, and then we can move Moltres down here. Yeah, we might do that. Okay, we're working our way up. Okay, give me a minute or two. I'm gonna I'm gonna organize this. Yeah, I'm 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 good with this. I'm not gonna mess with it too much now. I think this is a pretty good definitive list so far of what I've had. Um Yeah, so this is it. This is objective truth. Uh this isn't my opinion, this is fact, and you should all abide by this list, okay? If you don't like where the Pokemon sits in this list, that's your fault and your problem and not mine because I have the objective truth, I have the orb of truth, and you have the orb of deceit.